Hello everybody, this is Seductic, back with you with Paracrew, and today I'm going to show you how to easily insert AdMob ads into your MIT App Inventor projects. So first of all, what you need is an actual App Inventor project. So I went ahead and created this test project. Now, if you have never built one of your projects in MIT App Inventor, and I mean build uh, app, save APK to my computer, you should probably do so because this generates for the first time your key store, which is actually something like a signature that uh, app stores use to verify that you're publishing your app and it, you have to use it in order to push updates to your applications. So let's go back to my projects. And now we need two things. First of all, hit projects and hit export key store. This will save a file called android.keystore, which we will use later on. So after the key store file, we also want to export our project. So tick your project, export projects, export selected project to my computer. Save that also. And then what you want to do is open a new tab at, and head over where it says beta.thunkable.com. This is the URL over here. I have it also in the description below. So once you have headed over to that URL, you have to log in. It's basically an MIT App Inventor spin-off, which also supports advertisement. So once you're logged in, what you want to do is hit where it says apps and first of all, import key store. Now hit choose file. So I'm going to head over to downloads and select the android.keystore and hit open. Now once the key store has been imported, what you want to do is also hit apps and where it says upload app project from my computer. Choose file and import your project file. And then your app will be imported. Now just open up the project and you will be greeted by a user interface quite familiar from App Inventor. But there are some differences, like there are some extra components over here. What we want to look at is where it says experimental components. Now the blocks that mainly interest us are the AdMob banner and the full screen AdMob ads. So I'm just gonna head over and insert a banner so I can just show you guys. Now here where it says add unit ID, you want to import the add unit ID from your AdMob account over at Google. Also, when you're ready to publish your application, make sure to untick where it says test mode. And that's it. I have shown you guys how to easily insert AdMob ads into existing App Inventor projects. Now, keep in mind that we're currently using beta.thunkable.com. This feature, the AdMob ads, will probably soon migrate into Thunkable's normal platform. So if you don't seem to find it around beta.thunkable.com, make sure to check out the stable version of Thunkable. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.